everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic realm messaging. If you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Yes, you can give readings as a gift. Just make sure that the person is giving consent to be read, and make sure if they are going to email me separately that they mention you so I can match up the purchase, okay? So there's that part. Of course, check in the description box. I have lots and lots and lots of lives coming up. Make sure you get your tickets for those. They're really, really fun. So <laughs> we have a great time with it and they're very informational, uh, all that good stuff. So the first card out is confusion. We'll get to it. And it's deeper than you think. It's not just like, oh gosh, I'm confused about what to do about my career or what to do about this relationship. It's like we don't even understand how we feel anymore. Because we're turning a corner. We are, yes, evolving. We have God here. You can think of that as source, creator, the universe, universal Christ, okay? So we're talking about an upgrade here for some and the real you. Look at this. Let me get the other card. That way we have a full story here. So we're going to be in a lot of confusion and scrambling as certain systems in place, as I've been saying for years, are starting to crumble and um, and change. And things are obviously going to be revealed. And I was going to make a whole separate video about the whole bee saga. Uh, the fashion thing. Be careful saying that over and over. It is a chant. And just how strangely people have been behaving. But I don't think it's necessary. I think it's been covered enough. But... Uh, that's just another, we have clear sentience, but that's just another example of how things are shifting and changing and people are waking up. I have, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> costs have just been like sneaking up on me. Um, I have been very impressed with how people, you know, are not accepting the cover-ups and saying, you know, no, no, can't come back from this. So here we go. Let me move my microphone over a little bit more. Okay, is that better? <laughs> All right. So we have confusion. This is that feeling of splitting. I've been talking about this in the lives. And it is sort of the separation of the light and the dark. People who are awake. Those who are choosing not to be awake. Um, and if you're awake, it doesn't make us any better than anybody else. It just means, you know, we're trying to figure out who we are in this new environment, in this new way. And what I was saying before is not understanding how we're feeling. So I've been saying how people have been walking around like zombies. People don't seem to have a conscience. Okay? <laughs> so there's there's something going on there. But um, remember, when we're talking about an awakening process, a spiritual awakening, that can come with a lot of confusion. Feel like a part of you is being left behind. The new way that you're coming into isn't exactly clear. Or at the very least, it's unfamiliar, right? And so you might be treading lightly. But this is being guided. So we have the God card and we have Universal Christ. Christ consciousness. What we are seeing as things break down or break open... And I was hearing some people on social media saying, oh, I just can't take it anymore. I just can't take all these depressing stories out there. And although I get it, um, they're not helping anything. Okay? So there are people out there who aren't just having to hear about the horrible events. They're living them. And they don't have the option to turn away. But as long as we feel good enough to turn our heads, you know, this this is important here. That's an important distinction because this is what we're working towards. This higher consciousness. This Christ consciousness. Now, I don't know that we will necessarily make it in our lifetime, but the least we can do is try to set up the energy for future generations. You know what I mean? Start being authentic. We have the real you here. Part of what I was going to say in the Bee Saga video, which I'm now not going to make, was, you know, I am also seeing how there's this deconstructing of celebrity worship. 
which is excellent. We need to be breaking away from that. And the other thing too, I've been seeing, you know, all these videos about fashion. Let's just start there. Okay. A lot of it, music industry, publishing industry, um, Hollywood, you know, they all got their stuff. All right. For sure. And the predatory behavior is a common thread. It certainly is. So when we're in this space of, um, oh, I have to, that that's the ultimate goal is to have this producer have, I'm going to say it, have this publisher or have, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Okay. But we're learning, we're waking up to it now. Okay. So the real you, I was going down the road of an example around fashion. There's always this thing of, oh, don't carry those mid-level bags, like, you know, silly coach bags and things like that, <laughs> especially with logos all over it. I mean, that's not a flex. Um, luxury in general is not a flex. No, it's not. And we're waking up to that. And P.S. on the fashion thing, you wear whatever you look at and you love. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, and be proud of it. You don't have to hold yourself to anybody else's silly made up standard. Right. So, yeah. So the real you, again, this whole authenticity, um, I think we're going to be coming definitely into a time where we find that we have less, but we're so much happier. And that really does set up the energy of 2023. There's going to be lots of changes happening through 2024. Go back to my channel right on the main page there. I have the energy, I, uh, the energy outlook for 2020 to 2024. Of course, I will add on to that, you know, through the years, but that gives you a general uh, overview of where we're at. A lot of higher consciousness energy will be coming in. What is that going to be looking like? The split. The split. You're going to be having people who are acting out and then you're going to have people who finally find their way to peace even though the world isn't perfect. And I think that's the biggest mistake we've all made. We're waiting for the world to be perfect so we can be happy and we can be at peace. Not happening. I was saying on a live as well and I've been saying this for a very long time and um, I've been met with, you know, sometimes people laugh at this or whatever, but um, some major earthquake, okay, that affects the entire West Coast of the United States. It could affect uh, Mexico. I mean, it, it seems like something major and it's been feeling like it's coming up for a long time and I'm sure everyone's tired of hearing about it, but I even started to get the image that not immediately, but over time, it, there's like a whole splitting of a continent so again that may not be for many many years we may never see it in our lifetime I don't know but this is all kind of connected in some way so keep that in mind then we have clear sentience and this is Archangel Raguel Raguel shows up when we need to play nice with one another when we need to work out some sort of frequency between people and this is going to be really difficult <laughs> right because People are without empathy. People are working without a conscience, it seems, or just without awareness, right? So this says, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. This entire reading is about divine guidance trying to come in and let us know this needs to change. You need to make this turn. No more being self-centered. No more just sitting there and crying about your fate and how things are affecting you. And, oh, I don't want to hear that because it, it kills my vibe. Can we wake up to that? And can we also wake up to sort of the underhanded behavior where people are taking digs and everyone tries to silence everybody and says, oh, don't let them bother you. It's a form of gaslighting. That is a form of gaslighting. I had um, a comment on one of my videos and it was so clearly a dark person, like a dark entity in, I don't want to make it sound like body snatchers. I don't know about that, but like <laughs> there's some dark energy working through someone and they were just coming out and saying, oh, you're needy and um, clingy, or not needy and clingy, um, needy and I don't know, just all these words that were meant to tear me down. And to try to, that's my ring, sorry. <laughs> um, trying to make me feel awful. And I recognized it and I was like, 
look at that. And if I were to come out and be like, this is how we're treating each other, what would people do? Oh, rise above it. Oh, if you were really a spiritual practitioner, okay, or maybe in your case, if you were really a good parent, if you were really a good student, if you were really a good employee, whatever, 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 you would act this way. And the people who say that stuff, they would never react the same. They would never react with um, any sort of dignity <laughs> in a situation like that themselves. No, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. But they're holding everybody else to that standard because they're not self-aware, right? So let's start leaving room for us to feel things instead of uh, telling everyone to be quiet about it, telling everybody don't talk about that. It makes me uncomfortable, well, you had better get used to being uncomfortable, honey, because that's what's happening. That is what's going to get us to change. Do you know how badly people want the B saga to go away? Not for like obvious reasons, but people don't want to believe that it's there. They don't want to believe that this stuff is happening. Well, how convenient for you. I hope you can sleep well at night. You can try me in the comments. Um, you could, I suppose. <laughs> but um, we're not going to be tolerating people or making excuses for people who don't have any morals and, and don't stand up, even in a situation as dark as that. And you're not going to stand up and talk about it. Or you're going to try to dismiss it and say, well, it wasn't complete information. I don't, I don't, so I didn't read it. And then it was in your face, wasn't it? I'm not going to waste my breath anymore. I'll come and I'll do these videos. You take them or you don't. But if you really want to be a part of a positive change, we have to stop allowing people to just turn their heads and pretend like nothing's happening. We have to be discerning about who we spend our time with, who gets our energy, you can have those social friends that you're always smiling through all their underhanded comments over coffee, and then you get your ride or dies, okay? <laughs> They're not usually, you know, a combo, right? Because you're not just smiling a fake smile with your true friends. Like, you can be vulnerable with your true friends. It goes for family members, too. Do you have to just, like, tiptoe around family members so they don't explode on you? Or take notes so they can use it against you later? Think of coworkers. You know, think of... All those kinds of people, this is Raguel energy. We need to be smarter about where our energy is going. Energy is money as well. So as we start to go through these economic shifts, we're going to figure out how to be happier on less. So this might be a really phenomenal thing where we find peace by letting material things go. Maybe you will be happier in a smaller house. Maybe you will be happier not having so many handbags and so many pairs of shoes and, you know, whatever. Can you donate them? Can you find use for them? Okay? It's that sort of thing. So we're going to leave it there. I am sending you all so much love and take care. 